<clears throat> the opportunity to serve the citizens of Sierra Vista as a council member has been one of the greatest experiences of my life. It's also been one of the most difficult experiences, but it's been a great learning opportunity. It's my hope, like all who serve and each of us that sit up here and those that will come behind us and that were here before us, that we've helped in some way that make the community better, and I've hoped I've done that in some way, leaving the community a little better than, than when we took office, when I took office um, with the same time Rick and Carol did about eight years ago. Um, after I leave, it's my hope that continued work in, in areas and, and continued progress in important areas such as uh, economic development, affordable housing, youth issues, education, West End development, and those opportunities for all of our citizens continue. And I know that they, they will because this council is dedicated to making Sierra Vista the best place that it, that it can be. One of the greatest things that, that I've taken, and you don't hear a lot about, and I don't think a lot of us talk about, but the opportunity to, to be of service to those folks, those citizens in Sierra Vista that may not know where to go, that um, sometimes are forgotten, don't know who to call. And I've had the, the very fortunate opportunity to be the recipient of some of those calls and be able to help those individuals. Even though as a council member, we haven't may, been able to help them as a city, but we know where to call or, or who to call and, and what agency. And... I feel my role as a city council member allowed me to do that because my name was public and I was a public person, but those individuals are the individuals that, that I hope that um, will be continue to be looked after, and that was very rewarding, even though it's not one of the parts of the job that we talk about all the time. And it's my goal that um, all the experience I've had in Sierra Vista, I've taken, I've, I've learned here, that I can take to my new community. Um, everybody has taught me uh, something very valuable to take, all my colleagues here, city staff, and all my colleagues at work. So, uh, One of the greatest things about Sierra Vista is, is the people. And uh, we, you know, those, everybody sitting in the audience tonight, um, everybody at home, everybody else here earlier, it's, Sierra Vista is, is all about the people, and that's what, it, what makes us great. Um, we can have the greatest buildings, but if it's the people that go in those buildings or play in the parks, if they're not uh, the nicest people, it's not a community worth living in, and you all make it a community worth living in. But I also want to speak to the city staff, and they're, they're absolutely, absolutely a fabulous city staff. We have the best team of city managers. Uh, it's Chuck Patuchek is our city manager, and Mary Jacob is our assistant city manager. And Chuck is, um, Chuck is uh, I, I, as I sat down to write this, to, to say something uh, about each of my colleagues and about the, the city staff was absolutely difficult, and to come up with just one or two words for each of them was, was nearly impossible. But um, Chuck Patuchek, um, really, he is somebody that is an unheralded hero in our community. He takes a lot of heat, <clears throat> but he does what's best for the community. And he's the best best manager in, in Arizona, best city manager in Arizona. He's also been a great mentor and a, and a great colleague as well, so I thank you for that, Chuck. Mary Jacobs, our assistant city manager, she is, uh, she is truly a, a gem in Sierra Vista and uh, is highly respected, and I respect her tremendously, and she has also been a great mentor and a great colleague, and uh, the city is in excellent hands with them at the, at the leadership. Our city department heads, directors, um, Ms. Hansen, uh, Chiefs Redmond and Kimmel, Mr. Sanders, uh, Mr. Hemseth, hopefully they're all here, Mr. Harrowig, uh, Mr. Gunkel, Mr. Start, hopefully they're here. Um, those, are th th those folks are, are the folks that make the engine run on a daily basis, <coughs> and they are, I, again, I have the greatest and, and utmost respect for each of those, each of those folks, and, and thank them for really teaching me, and it's been a great learning experience, a great learning opportunity from each one of them. And I hope, um, even though there's city staff here tonight, I thank, I thank each one of the city staff members. But please let your staffs know that I truly appreciate what each, each one of them have done for the city and will hopefully continue to do. So thank you for that. As for the council, Tom, I looked for a baseball analogy, and I just couldn't find a good one that, that fit the night. So, um, but I knew you would, so thank you. But Tom, I, I really appreciate it. It, it's your energy, your enthusiasm that you bring to the council, your, your insights. Um, you truly are an asset to the council, so thank you very much. And Bob Blanchard, we've known each other a long time, and Bob is, I, I'd say Bob has a quiet determination and, and has, has been a, a solid, solid friend and, and uh, somebody that I know I could have talked to and, and get answers from. Um, at, at any time, and I'm going to appreciate, I appreciated our, our friendship, and, and thank you that for that, Bob, and, and uh, Mr. Mueller, we've, sir, we've known each other a long time, and I feel like I've watched, it, watched Rick grow up, you know, through the political <laughs> system a little bit, but uh, no, seriously, Rick is, uh, 
Rick has been a great friend. We have known each other probably the longest as uh, out of my colleagues. Um, when when I first started running for pol political office, and Rick first started running for political office, and and I, I can't say anything better than than what Rick said earlier, and, and about about how we've learned from each other. And I've truly learned from him, and truly respect r what he does. He is um, he is somebody that is extremely focused and and has a great vision and is more than willing to, to go after that and do what's right to, to achieve those goals. So Rick, I thank you for your friendship. Thank you. Thank you. And Miss Husking's my Miss Hank, my seatmate. Um, we've it's uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be tough. I hope uh, whoever takes my seat, wherever they end up sitting, that they have as good a seatmate as you are. But uh, <laughs> I, I appreciate uh, Hank's um, Hank's positive. She's extremely positive, even in the most difficult situations, and she makes us think. She makes us sit back and think, and has made me sit back and think, and we've had some good dis discussions, and um, and I appreciate that, and, and her friendship as well, and I, I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Carol, even though Carol Doctor's not here tonight, hopefully she's at home resting and recu recuperating. Um, Carol's been a great teammate, a great, a great confidant, um, a great friend. Um, Carol, Rick, and I were elected at the same time, and um, Carol is um, somebody that I truly admire, and I wish her the best over the next four years, and I know she'll, she'll do what's right for the city, but I'll miss her friendship as well. And Carol, hopefully if you're at home, um, we'll get to talk, talk soon. And last but not least, um, our, our fearless mayor, Mayor Bob Strain. I've served under two mayors, uh, Mayor Hessler and Mayor Strain, and um, not that I have a lot of benchmark to go against, but we've had the best mayors in Sierra Vista the last, the last few terms. But seriously, Mayor, Mayor Strain, Bob says that um, we have a very good council. We have one of the best councils in the state, and, and he reminds us of that once in a while, and I've appreciated that. But I have to say in turn that because of your leadership and um, your determination of, of doing, again, the right things and making this city the best city it can be, we owe that to you. And uh, I wish you the best over the next few years as well in, in your leadership position. So, Thank you. Um, in, in closing, um, I've had opportunities here that I will cherish and remember forever. Um, running for city council, being part of clubs and organizations that may not, may not have had opportunities elsewhere. And it's really, I, I owe that to the people of Sierra Vista, and I thank you. Um, when I leave here, I'll, I'll remember the mountains and the places, but again, I'm going to remember the people and the friends um, on the ball fields, being on the ball fields, being in the parks, um, the parades. That's what I'll remember in Sierra Vista. Hopefully one day I'll come back and be able to see all those new, the new things that are going on. Um, it's been a great opportunity to serve, and I, and I thank you, the citizens of Sierra Vista, to, to be able to serve you this past eight years. It was truly my, my hope and, and greatest desire to serve the next four years, but unfortunately life takes us elsewhere. And uh, we have to do what's right, and uh, hopefully I'm doing what's right by my family. But I, I leave you, I believe, in, in good hands um, it, with the council and the staff. And I really appreciate what they've done. I want to thank them. And I heard I want to I close, close with a quote um, from Garrison Keeler, who's from the Prairie Home Companion. Um, something simple. It's, it says, uh, be well, do good, and keep in touch. And with that, I want to thank you, and thank you for the opportunity to serve the citizens of Sierra Vista. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Great. Thank you. We're going to miss you. I'm going to adjourn the meeting, and then we can give Craig a standing ovation.